This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, it's your boy Black Magus, back with another Black Thought, and finally, um, I'm gonna talk about the Nipsey Hustle situation. Um, it's been about a week at the time of this recording since, um, rapper Nipsey Hustle had been murdered. Um, I believe he was 32, 33, um, young man, like, still a lot of life to live, and it's a shame that he wasn't able to continue on because this guy was a fucking light in the in the world. Not only was he a light in the world, he was a light that we needed, um, particularly in the black community. Um, coming from the L.A. Clint, Crenshaw area, um, former drank, former gang member who um, changed his life around and became successful through music and used that success to try to uplift his community and to make the world a better place. Uh, and that's the thing that's the biggest shame of it all. It's like this guy uh, was a very intelligent, compassionate, um, you know, socially conscious individual, you know, sure. We can all sit here and try to, like, you know, lament over the fact that, yeah, he was a gang member. And, you know, try to box this whole thing as, like, his past coming back to haunt him. Blah, 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 blah. But fuck all that shit. Um, seriously. Um, I've said this before, and I will continue to say it. People can change, and people do deserve... Um, a second chance. You know, you know. Yeah, there's some unredeemable human beings, but this was not one of them. So, if you're one of those people who are like throwing that whole like, well, he was a gang member, so this is like, you know, he was in the hood, blah blah blah. No, no, no. Mind you. I am of the mind that, you know, I wish he didn't stay in his community only because he would still be here to continue the work that he was doing. But I also understand why he felt the need to stay in the hood. It's a very, like, hard situation. Like, I don't begrudge anybody from the hood who makes it and don't, like, maintain a presence there. Because, you know, Shannon Sharp said it best. Part of the reason why he didn't, he doesn't still stay in the hood is because of situations like this. There are people who are so jealous and so spiteful of what you become that they will do things like this. They will try to murder you. They'll try to make your life miserable. They'll try to hurt you, harm you in any way possible. Um, yeah. And, you know, but it just shows how good of a person Nipsey Hussle was because knowing that, knowing that his past could come back to haunt him, knowing that, you know, there's the dangers of maintaining, um, you know, a presence in a place, you know, where violence happens all the time, just randomly. He was committed because he wanted to make it a better place. He wanted to uplift his people. Um, and I totally can't knock, it, it's knock him for that. And it's kind of sad because as I'm recording this, I just saw a commercial come on my TV with Laura London um, for a series that she's about to be in. And goddamn, I so feel for her because that was the love of her life. And she lost the husband and the father of her children and a couple of her kids and God, oh my God, just imagine having to go through losing someone you care for like that because of some petty bullshit from 
someone um, within your neighborhood who you had a disagreement with um, and they chose to settle it by violent means. That's the thing that really bothers me too. It's like, yo, why is it that we continually do this shit? Why is the response for some people? It, I don't get it. There's no reason. Because the thing is, this guy, Eric Holder, he took a life. And it j didn't just ruin that life, that one life. That's the thing um, that I've never understood about this type of violence. People don't really get how fucking deep this shit is. Taking his life didn't just ruin his own life. It ruined his wife's life. It took his kid's father away from them. They'll never get to like experience growing up with their father at their side um, for the rest of their lives. So there's a handful of lives you fucked up. His family, you know, add them to the list. His friends, his friends, the people who he helped support and help lift up, you know, look up some of the stuff that Nipsey also did. There's other people he helped try to raise up and make better. All those people don't have him around. That guy who was the guy in light for them, who was who had their back. That person's fucking gone. Um, the killer, his own fucking life and his own family. The girl who drove the getaway car, her fuck, her life is fucked. Because of his actions. A whole lot of people, like a whole lot of lives are ruined. Why? Because you had a dispute with someone and you couldn't handle it like a fucking adult and settle it some other way. Hell, I would have been even happier if like I read Nipsey Hussle got knocked out in a fist fight. That would have even been a more better solution. Because fucking taking this person's life what did you do what like what did you gain what is the satisfaction in doing that what did you accomplish with that in in particular with someone like nipsey hustle who was working his ass off to make stuff like stem programs for children working with the lapd to try to work with solutions to lessen gang violence and to build a better relationship between, you know, law enforcement and black communities and stuff like that. Like, he was just about to launch a new program with the LAPD. And, by the way, this shows how fucking much of a light this guy was. That the LAPD chief was torn at this. The, the LAPD respected this man so much that they fucking are mourning, you know, and we know how like the typical like reaction for law enforcement tend to be to people who are murdered in the black community. It ain't that well like regarded, but this fucking hurt them because this guy was trying to make life better, not just for his community, but for them too, because he was trying to make it so that they had a better understanding and relationship with us in the city of LA. <laughs> and all that shit's unraveling now because this fucking selfish, ridiculous prick couldn't settle a dispute any other way but to commit a heinous, violent act. And, you know, I have no sympathy for whatever happens to this guy and his life. You know, it's because he took a light from us, y'all. Like, there's so much darkness in this world. And when you can find light like Nipsey Hussle, you want to hold on to that shit and see that shit shine forever. And now that shit's snuffed out. And this is one less light that we have in a fucked up world. And I think, you know, I'm not am I a fan of his music. I haven't heard much Nipsey Hussle stuff. I, so I'm not going to sit here and profess like I'm doing this because I'm such a compassionate fan. But what I am is I'm a compassionate fan of the man and what he did and what he stood for and the things that he tried to you know do in the society. 
And that's where I'm fucked up because, again, we have so little light in this world. And you can't keep taking light away. It's not, we, especially, again, you know, apologies if you feel like, you know, this is way too black centric for you, but as an African American, I'm very concerned about my people and the way that um, things persist in, uh, persist in our community. And I want to see things get better for my people, you know. I'm not saying that I don't care what happens to other races, but, you know, we all have our particular pride in our own communities. And the stuff that Nipsey Hussle was doing, that young brother was doing, yo, yeah, I was very, very proud to see that. And I wanted to see that continue. And that's just gone. It's just fucking gone, y'all. And <sighs> it's not right. It's never right to see, like, in, you know, in any community, in any shape and scope of the world. Like, he he wasn't just a light for the black community. He was a light for the world. He was an shining example of what you should try to become as a person. No matter all the fucked up shit that he may have done or that he haven't been involved with, for all his transgressions, this brother was out there trying to do good for everybody um he was trying to make the world a better place so people wouldn't have to make the mistakes that he made or, or didn't go the path that he had to do he understood that he was blessed to get an opportunity to be prosperous and successful and he took that shit and he tried to pass it on to others and tried to make life better for everybody else he wasn't just you know trying to just feed himself and ingratiate his own life he's trying to make life better for a lot of people and it's just a goddamn shame that we can't you know have him around to continue his work one of the things like i know um it doesn't seem like it's but one of the good things about this is that we're seeing the outpouring of love and appreciation for what he did and hopefully this is going to inspire more people to take up his banner and to do the things that he do, like, you know, put shops in his community and give job opportunities to people who need it, help people out, like, make sure people are provided with certain um, things, given the opportunity for, like, you know, to excel in life, developing the educational programs that he was and doing the community work that he was. Hopefully this will just you know remind people that this is the way that we should all live and that we need to all get involved and do more and hopefully you'll see more people step up to take the place and try to like keep maintain the light that this guy brought um to the world you know god bless his family and friends everybody like yo my deepest sympathies to everybody in his circle like we lost like a light like I said and the world's a lot darker um, without it um, but hopefully that light will be picked up and maintained um, we all gotta do our part people um, if anything this is a lesson like yo know, the world needs to get better we all need to do better um, and hopefully the things that he did his legacy will live on and the good um, that people can do and will do and hopefully will continue to do I should say um, but yeah, yeah fucking tragedy this is like ridiculous y'all ridiculous oh. alright I'm spent <laughs> cause uh, yeah shit like this really really bothers me like you can't keep taking away the light people. stop it stop it anyway as always, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll haunt you later. This is your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>